What's up guys, welcome back. As you can see, a little bit different scenery. We hopped out of the 402. We are in the good old remote state of Nevada. Now we're doing some desert bighorn sheep hunting. My dad actually got lucky enough and drew the tag. Took him 16 years of preference points, less than a 1% chance odds of getting the tag. And we're here to do the darn thing. So we're very happy, very excited. Sent her down to Vegas this morning. Drove it about three, three and a half hours into a town called Tenapaw that we're staying right out there, right outside of the Monte Cristo Mountains in unit 213. Now, this unit's known to have a lot of sheep. Uh, it's known for its quantity. They gave seven tags away, one non-resident tag. The old man, you're the only non-resident tag given. So this is the day before the hunt. We're gonna drive around, learn the roads, and uh, do a little bit of glass and stuff like that. It's the wild west out here. This is awesome, I like it. We do have a buddy helping us, potentially two buddies. Um, he's already out here. We're splitting up glass and learning the roads, things like that. This is the day before the hunt. We'll catch you tomorrow morning on day one. Desert bighorn sheep, the hunt of a lifetime. It's a chilly one. Kind of a little bit different of a hunt a lot of driving and uh we're gonna try to spot some and then hopefully try to spot a decent one then we're gonna go up after him so pull the binoculars out and start spotting horses wild horses So, a little mid-morning checkup for you guys. About nine o'clock, we've probably stopped and looked about 15 times or so. It's still pretty early in the morning. You guys can see how the shadows are casted on this side. So there is a lot of nooks and crannies and stuff that we can't see. We're just kind of waiting for the sheep to kind of stand up and uh, start moving around. We're seeing if we can spot some while they're bedding down though, but. <laughs> I thought we were in the desert, it's cold <laughs> yeah. out. Yeah, it is chilly. All right, so we spotted one. We're way back here middle of this kind of like big canyon. Yeah, I'm watching him in the camera. see from a closer distance. I'm trying to get a better look at him. He went right up over this little ridge. So we're gonna travel this bottom and we're gonna see if we can cut the distance on him. Um, he had real big bases. I was trying to get the camera on him real good, but he was so far away. We're gonna post up right here. We're gonna run back to the truck, get some waters. The man's gonna start heading up there. It's gonna be an all day thing now, so slowly move forward a little bit, glass slowly move forward. Hopefully we can see him before he sees us. Alrighty, up we go. We got a long ways to the top. Made it. The truck is way down there. Old man's about halfway up. He's taking a break. We're gonna go up here, see if we can spot him. We picked the tallest mountain, that's for sure. We're gonna go see what we can see right up here, see if we can locate him. Uh, if it's worth calling him up, we'll call him up. Or if not, we'll try to locate him for morning. You see him? 
is not far. We could at least locate him, you know, somewhat dialed in for the morning. I, don't, I would assume they don't move much at night, but. Don't knock me off the cliff. <laughs> That's about this whole way down right here. I was getting really cold coming up here. I was sweating. Stopped here to wait to see you guys could see on top. Wind's blowing down and now I'm in the shade. Sat yeah. here for an hour. Yeah, that was a long way up to the top and this yeah. isn't even the top right here that you can see. No. Morning. Morning. Morning number two. All right, little mid-morning update. It's about 9.20. We have glassed all over and we have still yet to find the sheep. So um, I'm gonna show y'all something pretty cool. Uh, they got these little mine holes all over. Don't know how close I can get to this. Oh yeah, that goes down. Just a big old straight drop. Unsafe mine, stay out, stay alive. All right, it's been tough out here. This is a unit known for having a lot of sheep. We're gonna get her done. Looking for the elusive and extinct desert beagle. <laughs> We're gonna keep glassing. And it's only day two. There's some way up here. Let's see if this will work. It's been tough. They haven't seen much. Everyone's talking about. Uh, there's three guys over here. They're talking about how the numbers just aren't what they used to be. It's 11:02 second morning all right well we're gonna go take a better look at this one there's a road that goes you guys probably can't see it there's a road that goes right up in between this valley right here we're gonna go through up this road and we're gonna see if we can take a better look at him get a little bit closer and uh, kind of hone in on from there saw some sheep yeah right in the middle of the screen he's running to the left now came down significantly yeah he actually just bedded down. One of them's bedded, the other one's just kind of roaming right next to him. They're both gonna bed down right there. They were pawing a lot, but hopefully they stay there. We've probably got about a 25 minute walk up there. We're gonna make our move, get up, and at least take a closer look at him. All right, well, audible. And they came around down the other side of the mountain. It's those four hunters we just talked to, they went up on the other side. That's what ran them down this side of the mountain. Now they're up on top of the skyline. I don't know, we're gonna wait it out. I'm gonna zoom in on the big camera. And Kind of spy on them, see what's going on. Different guys? It's different guys, I guess. Do the sheep see him? No, he's just looking straight ahead. Well, we're gonna wait this out and see what goes on. At least we weren't halfway up. Yeah. What are the odds of that? That guy's walking up to that ledge. He knows he's in there. They're out of range, probably. He's gonna try to shoot, he's just laid down. Oh, he smoked him. You get him? No. He's still up. He might have hit right below him. They're a little bit to the left. They're running left to right. Yeah. I saw the dirt hit below him, I think. Yeah, that's what it looked like. They're skylighted now. Oh, well. God, they had him so close. If they just would have peeked up over and saw him. All right, well. If, uh, if you're hunting the Monte Cristos in 2022 and you did a stock like that and it looked like you, it's probably you and I got it on film, so. I thought he smoked him at first. I think it hit right below him. I was trying to watch it on the camera screen, but it's only like this big, so. All right, we're gonna keep hunting. All right, I'm gonna try this. He's skylighted right there, on top right. Not exactly great footage, but at least you guys can kind of see him. He was skylighted, it's hard to hold the 
camper that steady, but all right, we're gonna go make a move, get a little closer, see if we can uh, take a better look. perfect shot here at 250 yards they just weren't quite big enough I think we we, we definitely could have got that one uh, both of them but hunting the big one <laughs> all right we're gonna pack her out right here what do you think that one scored I'd have a hard time telling he's only 130 really you know I mean 135 at the absolute you best. think that much if he had 15 inch bases he's probably 135 moving on gonna find bigger still got a couple more days and that's trophy hunt, so. That's where we spotted them. Way up on that point up there. It's where we just were. It's where we just almost had a shot. We're getting closer. Definitely, definitely getting closer. They're right there in the middle of the screen bedded down. Bones had enough go go in them. <laughs> you did it. I did it. I didn't think I was gonna. <laughs> I know. I'm so happy. He's a beauty. That is a good ram. That is a real good ram. Especially, I mean, this oh my unit. God. That this is a unit. It's an amazing ram. That is a good ram. Big old thick boy. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh, I killed a stud. Definitely the lead ram in that bunch. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh, this was an easy hunt, wasn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> I'd rather half these, I'd rather just die on the mountain than walk down. <laughs> Out here in the middle of Nevada. Good I work. I'm just so happy. I mean, my god, for an old man, this has been really a punishing hunt. Walking these hills, I better burn. 10,000 calories a day and I don't know that I'm exaggerating. This, they, they might call that 5.6. I call that a double. That's also a double there, six, seven. He's at least eight, they might call him 10. Wow. wow. 
boy. Eight. Eight years old. Yeah. I look up skyline. Here comes this ram tumbling. Yeah. That's you a might good kill the biggest one in the unit this year. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Go big or go home. That's what we said yesterday. <laughs> Eight years old. Thank you, sir. Pretty happy with that. 14? 14, yeah. 30, right at 30. Well, we're burning so an 29. inch, so 29. You see that? It's a shock absorber. Oh, yeah. Huh. The middle of the Nevada mountains out here. We did it. Desert Bighorn, success. Congrats, old man. That was freaking awesome. We did it. What was your guess? I was thinking like 144 ish. That's why I said 144. Is it 142? 144. 144? Uh, 144. 144 and 5 8. Ah! <laughs> 144 and 5 8.